This is my Chevy Astro Van Year 2000. In this video, I'm going to be adding a leaf spring assist kit. And I think I spent around $64 or $69. It was under $70, bucks, I know that, for the kit. But yeah, pretty simple and straightforward. So before I go ahead and start into it, I'm going to take a measurement from down here. All right, I'd say we're right at 28 and a half inches. So what I'm hoping is I'm going to be able to take that sag out of the back here. It's kind of hard to see in this shot, but uh, it definitely does squat a little bit in the back. So we'll see if this kit makes it sit up a little bit higher. I saw another guy who put one on his Astro van. He gained three inches of clearance. So uh, we'll see if that happens in this case. All right, we're gonna mount this thing. We're gonna put it right here. Then we're gonna clamp it down. So what we have to do is we have to get on here and we're just gonna go ahead, bend that tab open. All right, I'm gonna have to bend this a little bit right here. Okay, flex that a little bit. You might not have to. I saw another guy doing this and he didn't have to. But for this case, my year 2000 Astro Van, I had to do that. So anyhow, we're just gonna center this right here. Because if you try to mount it, this bracket right there in front of this hole, the back piece sticks way too high and there's no way you're gonna be able to crank it down unless you have a C-clamp. Well, I seen another guy do it that way and after messing around with it for a while, I decided that, well, it wasn't worth spending an extra 50 bucks on buying a C-clamp that I didn't have, so I just went ahead and took that little plastic piece out, and uh, I didn't see any harm in it. It just mounts up just like that over the hole, and hey, it worked on the other side, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing right here, get it started, and then you'll tighten it all the way up with a three-quarter inch wrench right here, and I'm just going to work it back and forth each side, and we're going to keep the plate even while this presses down. Same thing over here, and then the ratchet runs out of reach because the threads. All right, well, I'm just about out of socket here. So I'll have to finish out the job here with my wrench. So I just tighten it up on this side and then I go over to the other side and tighten it up. Then I go to the back, tighten it up, jump back up to the front. I'm just working it even. Overall, pretty fairly simple job to do. I got thrown off a little bit because I watched another guy's video and he did a really good job on his video. He just used a C-clamp, and as I went over earlier in the video about that little hole there in that plug, and if you try to mount that clamp right there and leave that plug in there, you'll have to get a C-clamp in the back because the back will be sticking up way too high and you will never be able to get your bolt started. I didn't see any harm in taking that plug out right there, and that's just what I did. It's pretty much in the same location. My idea was to take this bracket right here and have it touch this piece right here, but I wasn't able to make that happen without getting a bigger C-clamp. And like I said, it was 50-something bucks. And I didn't feel like buying a C-clamp for 50 bucks. I didn't see any harm in mounting it where it is right here. Close this back up now. Eventually, I'm going to come back by and I'm going to throw another nut on here. Even though there is a lock washer on there, I'm going to come back and throw double nuts and all this stuff right here. And then I might end up cutting some of this extra thread off just so I don't have anything hanging down. And eventually, if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and I could do the same thing right here and I could even double up. We'll see though. I'll throw a tire on and we'll try this out for a while. Well, I think it's better. 